welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. I have my rotating pan those palettes for you today. I am also accompanied by a very needy cat who <laughs> is on my desk. So if we have interruptions, hopefully you like cats. That is Miko if you are new here. But anyway, I have an eyeshadow update for you I'm super excited about. I hit pan and finished a shade between my last update and now. I was kind of pushing this update because I was just like a day away from finishing a shade. So now that I officially finished it up, I'm ready to share my update. If you are new here and don't know how I'm structuring this, I essentially broke the year into three parts. So uh, three, four month chunks. And I pick a couple of palettes to focus on during that period of time. It helps me use my entire collection, but it also helps me focus and allow time for like good progress. So it seems to be a really good kind of happy medium for me right now. And I am, oh, here comes the cat. <laughs> I am excited to share with you the progress I've made. Um, oh, thank you. Right on my notes. Okay, we'll see how this goes. So um, I'll start with the palette that has the least amount of progress right now. That is the ABH Soft Glam 2 palette. So it's kind of like the mini size. This is a fantastic travel palette. I always feel like I can bring this and I'm good to go. So this is what it's currently looking like. I already had three pans in here, these two shades, and then the black at the bottom when we started. So I'd only used this a handful of times in this project. Um, it's kind of a companion palette of sorts. So I have used um, the incense shade down here, this brown, uh, as my kind of like transition crease shade. I have nine uses um, in the project. I had four last time, so I used it five more times. And then I am also reaching into Tempera a little bit more now. I'm going to try to make a little bit of progress in this shade here and there as like a highlighter type shade um, for my brow bone or my like inner corner if I want something a little bit more subtle, not as sparkly. I feel like this does well. It's kind of more of a satin shade. So yeah, and then otherwise I've just kind of used the shades once or twice. There really isn't a lot of progress, but I am happy to have it in the project. I am going to have a couple of quick like little you know overnight trip type things coming up so I definitely will be using this and bringing this along to get some good progress so that is the ABH Soft Glam 2. Next is the Norvina palette which I really need to like wipe this down it's starting to get pretty dusty here but this is uh definitely um kind of oh my god oh you guys sneaky Hey, this is not for you. I'm telling you, this cat. Um, the nor Nico. All right, Nico. Say goodbye to the friends. Do your cats ever just really feel the need to chew on something? He just loves chewing on anything. Like Velcro is one of his favorites, but every now and then he just like wants to chew. I don't understand. Okay, Norvina palette. So I have had a good amount of progress in here. I don't have any pans in here, but I'm really happy with the numbers. So this is what my palette is looking like. There's definitely, you know, progress in that the shadows are a little bit more disrupted. There are a couple of dips going on in here. So I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing. I am using Dreamer and Summer, these two shades right here, Dreamer and Summer, a lot. So there definitely is more of a dip going on there. I have been using Summer all over the lid quite a bit, and then Dreamer a little bit to kind of lighten it. I also like Dreamer all over the lid. Um, it just depends, like, if I want a really light, you know, makeup look, I'll probably use Dreamer, and then if I want something a little bit more medium, I use um, Summer there too. So Dreamer I've used... 22 times, um, summer I've used 14 times, and then the rest of these shades I've used a couple of times here and there. Um, so yeah, I'm really focusing on these ones. I would love to see pan in one or both of these. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but I am going to focus there. So that's gonna be kind of the priority um, as far as the next couple of months go, because I still have two more months with these palettes. So I feel like I'm in a groove and I can definitely get, get some good progress going. So yeah, that is the Norvina palette looking, you know, pretty. Um, I've used, let's see here, rose gold twice. I used it on the outer third to kind of deepen up a look and that was pretty. 
Um, I used Celestial once, which is this kind of purple. Honestly, this is a really disappointing kind of purple shade for me. I feel like a lot of people say that in the pan. It just looks so different and it's really kind of, I don't know, crumbly. Like even that looks okay, but when you swatch it, it just like, I don't know. It goes to nothing. It, it has a really pretty iridescence to it when the light hits it, but I don't know. It just doesn't quite do it for me. So use that once. Um, and let's see, looking at my notes, I use base six times. We're going to come back and talk about this again. Um, and then uh, incense, which is also in the ABH Soft Glam 2, I used this one once since my last update for a total of two uses, but I am trying to focus on incense in this one because I don't, I don't know, just to get a little bit of usage in all of them. So yeah, that's the Norvina palette update. And that means all of the fun progress is in my Z palette. So each time I do this, I um, kind of put together a nine eyeshadow Z palette. And most of these shades come from ColourPop palettes that I have because they are very easy to pop out in and out because they're magnetic. And I love that I can kind of pull shades from the different pre-made ColourPop palettes and kind of make my own too. So it's been really fun. And I did not clean this off at all. I probably should have. But this is what the palette is currently looking like. So the big news in here is I finished up full expose. I just finished this a couple of days ago. So that is the one I was, you know, really waiting on to finish. This was a like kind of cream matte um, shade that I would use to set down my lid. And it looks like there's um, a little bit there, but that's just kind of the discoloration. I did end up repressing this after my last update, just because it was so thin around the edges. It was really difficult for me to like get any product on the brush. So I did repress it and put it all in the center and then finished it up from there. And that worked out really well. So, but yeah, this is officially done. And this is my first eyeshadow that I've finished this year. So that also feels like a good accomplishment. So um, I will be now shifting gears into the Norvena, Norvena, Norvena base shade. Um, this one down here, cause it's another kind of cream matte. I already had pan on this, um, to begin with. So I will be working on finishing this up. And I do think that that is very doable. There's not a lot of product in any of these. And then this one already has a good amount of pan. So we'll be tracking that. I don't know if I'll have it finished by next update or not, but that's going to be the goal is to work on this quite a bit. Um, and then, you know, if I finish that up, great. I can move on to another shade that's kind of similar. So that's the big news in here. The other news is I hit pan on coastline, which is the center shade. I was using it as my inner corner highlight. I will, um, give you a little update here. So I do have a nice little pan in the center, which I think is, you know, good. I'm still reaching for this. I love it as an inner corner shade. Um, but I am also trying to use Tempera from the Soft Glam 2 here and there. Um, just again, if I want something a little bit more subtle, I can use Tempera. I may, if I finish up base from Norvina, may go in here and use this as a setting shade too. Um, we'll kind of see what my course of action is. I may look at my collection to see if there's something better I want to work on. I'm not sure, but, um, that one's a, uh, like a satin, so it could be used as inner corner or as a lid setting shade, whereas this one definitely is a little bit more sparkly, but I really like this, and it's from the Wild Nothing palette, so I'm happy to have a new pan in there, too. Um, so let's talk about numbers, because the rest of these don't have pans. So um, my full expose, I used it 16 times since my last update for a total of 31 uses um, this kind of round. I did use this in the last um, kind of four months, but I started my numbers over again. And then Coastline, I've used 25 times. Um, again, since this round started, last time I was at 13. So I hit pan in there and then I've continued to use it. I'm using top down quite a bit, this kind of light peachy shade. I'm really enjoying this as a like transition shade. It's kind of the first color I put in my crease. It is very like well packed in here. All of the ColourPop mattes I've worked with have like an incredible amount of just like stiffness to them. So I don't think I'll be hitting pan anytime soon, but I do see a dip in there and that makes me happy. And I really love reaching for it because it's just so 
like easy. It goes with warm, um, you know, eye looks. It goes with, you know, neutral, cool tone eye looks. It's just a great kind of starter shade for me to throw in the crease. So that has been great. I've used that one 29 times. I had 10 uses at the last update, so I used it 19 times since the last update. Um, okay, moving along the middle row, I really didn't reach for much in here. I use, didn't use this one at all, rumored. Designer Dreads I used once, Hot Springs I used twice. And then at the bottom, I didn't use Spyglass at all. Um, I've used Alcove once, and I haven't used Morningside. So um, really my focus has been on this top row of this little Z palette, and I'm super pumped to see the amount of progress I've made um, in those shades, which is fun. So yeah, we have two updates to make in my planner. If you aren't aware, I have a map at the back of my planner of all my palettes and I like to mark them up when I hit pan or finish them. So I hit pan and coastline first and that comes from the Wild Nothing palette. So this is the actual ColourPop palette and I just need to reference this position. So it's, it's right here. It's this, um, you know, where that's, that's where it lives in the palette is this third one on the top row. So on my notebook, where are we? Wild Nothing. Okay, so this is um, Wild Nothing here. The yellow hash is a pan that I've already hit. The two that are black and like colored in were decluttered. So I'm going to be um, putting in a hash mark on this square here because I've hit pan and the hash is like the hit pan. And I'm using the color pink because pink is for 2023. Yellow was for 2021 and it just is going to, I don't know, kind of be fun to see. So let me mark that up. And then um, if I do hit pan on something, once I finish it, then I can color in the whole box. So that's kind of my system, um, but it's a really nice visual. So now we can see I've got the pink colored um, there on the stripes and that's really exciting. So yeah, I hit pan on coastline on June 19th. And then on July 14th, I finished up full expose. And that comes from my Bare Necessities palette, which I just love this palette. You guys probably know that. Um, and that pan lives right here in the second row, the first one. So I'm going to be coloring in um, that spot in my map. Um, and I'm going to be using a pink marker to color it all the way in. So I had hit pan in the shade in 2021, it looks like, because it has yellow. And now I'm going to be coloring in for 2023. So this is the Bare Necessities. And um, this first yellow one is the one that I'm going to be coloring in. So let me do that here quick. And then we'll be all updated, which is really exciting. I um, originally saw someone on Instagram kind of keep track of their palettes this way. And I thought it was so cool and just like very satisfying to see. So now Bare Necessities has a fully colored in pink square there for full expose, which is so exciting. Okay, so my pan percentage when we last um, kind of updated was at 1407. I had 135 eyeshadows in my collection and 19 of them had pan. Then I hit pan and coastline, so then I went up to 20 eyeshadows with pan. So 20 divided by 135 is 14.81. And then I finished full expose, so I lost an eyeshadow with the pan and I reduced my total collection by one. So now I'm back at 19 eyeshadows with pan, but now I only have 134, 134 eyeshadows in the whole collection. So that brings me to a 14.17 percentage, which is so crazy to think about, but I'm really enjoying it. And, um, it's really fun to track the progress. My goal for the year, um, is to try to get close to 20%. I did end up hitting 20% last year. And then I decluttered a palette that had a ton of pan on it. So I lost a lot of those, but I would like to hit pan or finish 13 eyeshadows this year. So far I have hit pan in three and finished one. So I'm at four, which means I have nine shadows to either hit pan or finish to go. Um, so I really want to lean on the ABH palettes because these pans are not very big. Um, so I'm thinking it would be really great to finish up base, which I don't think should be a problem. I would love to see pan in Dreamer in summer, these two shimmers that I'm working on. That would be fantastic. Um, and I think if I switch the brush I'm using for summer, I might be able to make a little bit more of a dip in there. Um, 
I mean, I'm not going to like totally cheat and like dig in there, but I'm just saying sometimes the eyeshadow brush can make a difference too. So I would love to have like three more just from this palette towards that 13. And then I may then go into um, Tempera and try to finish Tempera up. That would be like an easy kind of next step after base. We'll see. But I'd really like to see what I can do progress-wise between these two palettes um, within the next two months. So the next time I'm scheduled to kind of like switch out palettes is in September. So I still have the rest of July, August, and then September we will switch palettes. Um, so we'll see what we can do. I'm really optimistic that it, it could at least finish up base and then we'll see about the rest, but that's kind of the plan I'm thinking right now. Um, and then we will, you know, see what happens from there. But I also will be going through when I switch my palettes through all my color pop shades and I may find a few others that maybe I'm like close to hitting pan on or could definitely go through pretty quickly. We'll see what I can dig up. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.